everyone. How are you doing tonight? Um, just got home from my daughter's softball practice, and um, I'm making a cowboy casserole with sausage. Um, I got this from another lady that has a cooking channel. Um, it's Casey, Cooking with Casey. And she made it with hamburger, but um, I'm using sausage because I have sausage right now that I need to cook up before we get another pig butchered. So anyway, um, right here on the stove, in this pan, I'm just browning up my sausage. And then when it's all done, we're gonna mix up some stuff. I wanted to show you guys. I got my first harvest from my garden. Look at these peppers, jalapeno peppers. And I got a little cucumber. I'm so excited. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut up this jalapeno. Mm. Guys, it smells amazing. But I'm just gonna chop this up. I already washed it and everything. This might be a green pepper. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna put it in there. Um, so I have, over here I have about a cup of an onion. Well, I just have a small onion. I don't know how much it is actually. And so, I know this one is a jalapeno. Smells spicier. cast iron pan and I'm gonna grease it with some bacon grease and then I'm gonna put it in the oven and get it hot and then we'll put the stuff in it hot and cook it so does that make sense anyway this jalapeno is beautiful and I'm so thankful I was able to grow these in my garden and then include them in my meals and eat them. You know, if you don't want jalapeno, you don't have to add it. Obviously, this is going to add a little bit of spice to it, but I like food with flavor. And... Um, a little bit of spice is okay. I don't think this is one, this is gonna be too bad. Okay. Okay. So let me put you guys on pause and then I'll finish cooking up this sausage and I'll show you guys how to mix it all together. And, um, you know what, real quick, I'll, I'll um, grease my cast iron. So I just have some bacon grease right here that I save. No, I'm not weird. But I'm just gonna, let's see if I can just get some in here. Gonna get some on my, and then I'm gonna grease it real good. Maybe a little bit more. See, grease it all around. And 
And then I'm gonna put it in the oven and make it hot. But I'm just gonna wait a minute because I'm not quite ready. So anyways, let me get this um, sausage all cooked and then I'll come right back. All right guys, I'm back. So my sausage is just about done. I'm gonna put it in last. But I'm gonna put this greased cast iron pan in the oven and let it get hot. And I just have it at 375 because that's what I'm gonna cook the meal at. So it's already preheated to that temperature. And um, since I'm making the dinner, I'm not gonna set a timer or anything. Cause I'm not gonna forget cause I have to put the dinner in there, right? So what I have here is I have one can of a Southwest corn mix. Um, the recipe calls for Mexi corn, but I'm guessing this is it. So anyway, it just has um, red, red peppers in it and poblano. And then I'm gonna put this um, jalapeno pepper and onion in there. Shredded cheddar cheese. I just have a big bag, bag of shredded cheddar cheese here. And then it calls for a cup of um, buttermilk. it all in here. Smells yummy. And it looks yummy. Your block counter so I can't put hot pans and stuff on it you know it's not good for it so um I bet it's about ready the recipe does not say how long to cook it so I'll have to let you know once it comes out I'm guessing 30 to 45 minutes um yeah it's nine o'clock at night but yeah whatever just can't get my, you know what, together before now. Well, and Abby had a long practice tonight. She had a two hour practice. And then guess what? I had to go buy her a new mitt and she's left-handed and luckily Walmart had one. But I'm gonna order one on Amazon, but I couldn't get it by Saturday and she has a tournament on Saturday. And so she can't just use someone else's mitt because she's left-handed and there's not very many left-handed ones. Don't ask me what happened to her mitt. Don't wanna talk about it. Smacks that mock and wild, but I don't want to talk about it. 
Okay, so let me take this out. It's hot. It's I can um, I can smell it, steam it, and you can see all the grease has melted. So we're gonna dump this in here. I put it in random exercise. So I set it for 30 minutes, then I'm going to come back and I'll tell you how, much, how long it ended up cooking, okay? And then I'll adjust that in the recipe. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Oh, done, Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hey, so guess what? 30 minutes. That's how long it took to cook. And I took a little bite of it, and it's yummy. It's good. So you can see it's kind of browned around the edges. But I think 30 minutes is perfect. So... I'm just going to take some, and with that grease, it just comes right off the bottom. And look at, it's like browned on the bottom. Mm. It is so good, you guys. And if you want to eat it with something else, like ketchup or barbecue sauce, you probably could. Mmm. Anyway, 30 minutes, 375. And I hope you guys make it and hope you like it. And I can taste that jalapeno. It's got a kick. So my jalapeno grew and it is good. And I'm happy. And it's really satisfying to like grow your own garden and then to harvest it and then cook it and put it in your food and it's yummy. So I'm happy. So anyway, try it you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.